Okay, I'm back again with a quick flashlight review. This time we'll do My Torch AA. This is a light made by Next Torch. And as they're claiming, this is the world's first smart torch. That means this light is USB programmable. It actually has a little USB port built into it, uh, which I'll get to in a second. But uh, it's a 1AA light, so it's nice and small, easily fits in the pocket. You can carry this for everyday carry use, which I've been doing for the past month. Uh, works out pretty well. It has a maximum output of 70 lumens and infinite lighting modes. That means you can program different brightness levels anywhere from 5%, which is going to be around 3.5 to 4 lumens, all the way up to 100% and everything in between. You can also program in infinite flashing modes, different frequency strobes, uh, beacons, SOS messages, uh, just about anything you can think of, and it will store 50 of those modes. So it is a pretty versatile light for the small package, again, only utilizing one AA battery. So some additional specs. Uh, it has a height of 4.7 inches. Uh, that's a little tall compared to some other lights. Um, you know, lights like the Nightcore Easy AA, you know, it's a lot taller than them. Uh, it's even taller than my LED Lenser P5, which I thought was pretty tall. Uh, but it's still a lot smaller than a 2AA light. It's still very pocketable. And the extra height is due to the bulbous head, uh, which actually is an advantage because it gives you a better beam. Uh, you have a wider um, range of throw there. So it is 1.4 inches, 1.04 inches thick at its widest point, which is going to be the head. Again, 4.7 inches tall. It weighs 56 grams without the battery. Uh, as far as the LED, it is using a cool white 6000 Kelvin Cree XPE R3 LED, producing again 70 lumens. Has a light orange peel reflector. The lens is made out of a polycarbonate, it's not glass, but it does hold up quite well to scratches, as you can uh, see. Uh, I've had this in my pocket with my multi-tool, my cell phone, keys, and pocket change, and there doesn't seem to be any scratches on here. Uh, this little metallic ring here is actually plastic along with the one on the back. I went ahead and uh, checked that out with them. And um, has a maximum throwing range of 262 feet. I personally tested this out to about 100 feet. It did pretty well for a 1AA light, but you shouldn't really expect any more out of that. This is just a 1AA pocket light. If you need more power, you might want to check out some Next Torch's larger lights, like their 2AA Mod Torch or their 18650. Uh, this is their least expensive light, which I like about it, uh, having the infinite modes. This only costs around $30. That's what I've been seeing prices as all over the internet, so it has a pretty good price for the features and performance that you get from it. So let me go ahead, take the light apart, uh, show you around the different areas. Um, first looking at the exterior, you have your Next Torch logo. It has an aero grade aluminum exterior with a hard anodized coating. You do have some uh, brick-like knurling here. It gives you a pretty good grip in the hand. Along with these slats, these raised sections at both the head and the tail section, so that you can manipulate them. Uh, you can twist the head up to reveal the uh, mini USB port, which I'll show you how to operate in a second. It does have an O-ring. And at the back, you have those same slats so that you get a good grip to untwist the tail section. So you can see the anodizing goes all the way to the threads, which I like and the light comes generously pre-lubricated which I also like. So looking at the inside of the light, the only section I've been able to take off is the tail section. I'm not too sure about fully removing the head but uh, looking inside you see there are pretty nice uh, high quality brass contacts at both the positive and negative contact. At the rear of the light there is also a green uh, rubberized uh, glow-in-the-dark cover 
for the uh, button and it works out pretty well. Charge is okay from ambient light but honestly the best performance I've gotten out of it as far as being able to see it at night is by holding it close to another flashlight or either the desk lamp. So what I have here is uh, my custom molds in this light. It comes with three uh, stock molds. I believe that's high, medium, and low. What I've done is I've programmed in my own five custom molds. Again, you can go all the way up to 50, but I want to show you the molds that I have. I have 100, uh, 50, 30, I believe that is 20, and then that is 5%. And then I have a slow strobe. I believe that's 10 hertz and I believe this strobe is 20 Hertz and then we have an emergency beacon flasher now I can program just about everything in that I would want as far as a, a Morse code message and the nice thing about it is if you want to share your actual program for the light you can upload it to their website they have a little section where you download the actual software for you to upload your configuration so that other people can use it and uh, if you guys want I don't know if I will or not, but I will go ahead and try to upload my own configuration. So, what I want to do now is show you how to use the software. It's pretty easy, uh, not too hard to do at all. What you first want to do is take your USB port, plug it into your computer. After you've downloaded the NextTorch software, of course, that link is going to be in the description. Uh, the only thing you have to do then is twist up the head, turn on the light because it does have to be on and plug it in and once you plug it in the light uh, will go off once it's recognized that it's connected so you can see it's off and what we're going to do now is start the next torch tuner software your computer will recognize that the light is connected in fact it will say connected in the upper right hand corner and then you can begin customizing so what you have here is the tuner um, to select the different modes that you want right now is selecting one single mode uh, you know I can set it up to just 100 percent and have it uh, a single mode flashlight if I want or I can set it up to 50 other settings which will work you can see the uh, next torch software here sort of making a sound uh, but let's go ahead and program some things and say I want to start out at about 5% that's what I want is my lowest setting so I preserve my night vision so what we're going to do is leave it at 5% hit the next little triangle down there and say my next mode is going to be hmm, I will say 50% so you can slide it to 50% or you can go ahead and double click it and enter in the value if you want so leave it at 50 percent and if you want to test to see how that looks you can go ahead and hit the test button in the lower left hand corner and the light will go ahead and show you that mode and you can look at the other mode also just by simply hitting the test so we have it at five percent fifty percent let's go all the way up to 100 test it see it's at full brightness now and say we want a different mode from brightness well we can do the frequency which is going to be your strobe uh, its lowest is 0 0.5 Hertz that's just going to be this but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and up that to a I guess 13 frequency 13 Hertz frequency so there we go 13 Hertz and all we have to do now is hit the download button and what it's going to do is it's going to download to the flashlight it says download complete you can hit OK and if you want to save this mode to your computer just in case you want to change settings and you want to bring this mode back up uh, you can hit save as and save it in your documents so that's pretty much it uh, let's go ahead and test out the light uh, the modes I just programmed into it we have 5% 50% 30% 
light tap 50%, another light tap 100%, and then we have our 13 hertz frequency strobe. So that's pretty much it, how you tune it. You can tune up to 50 molds on it. Um, pretty much you can change it from every event that you're going to, maybe you're going camping or uh, for emergency backup or school, whatever it may be. You can quickly change the settings within a couple of minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick review and lighting demo of the MyTorch 1AA. I uh, hope you guys check the light out. You can find it at Amazon.com, BatteryJunction.com, and a variety of other websites. Thanks again for watching. Peace.